Hey Cancer, this is Moon Pie getting ready to do your October love reading. This is a general love reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So some of the messages may or may not re uh, resonate, so just take what fits. Um, if the reading does resonate for you and you would like to dive deeper to see what this person will do, there will be a link in the description box below for an extended reading. It's $11.11 .11 if you'd like to purchase that. And um, yeah, please, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoy my readings, please do subscribe to my channel and you may leave comments about the reading. I would really appreciate anything. Uh, I do read all the comments. I don't always get to reply, but I do read them. And I always appreciate to hear from you guys, okay? All right, give me a second here. So I just wanna shuffle a little. And let's see, what is the energy, uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, the love energy for October 2020, Cancer, 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 okay, I know we want to have cards fly out here. All right, come on, Cancer. Cancer, are you in your shell? Okay. Ooh, past communication, um, truthful communication, clarity. Somebody gaining clarity in a situation or a relationship. Um, it was time to talk in the past somebody said we need to talk we need to clear the air we need to cut through all the garbage cut through the smoke screen and the fog and find a solution overcome these obstacles okay um, there and that was the first uh, did the communication happen I don't know but did someone request this yes was it you was it another person perhaps let's take a look at the present and see okay change the world very interesting um somebody uh, there so there was some type of request to clear the air is what i feel and i also feel that there is a, sorry, I have to fix my microphone. There is a chance that that communication, that, that uh, solution, that uh, ability to overcome an obstacle may not have happened. And somebody may have decided, well, we're not going to talk. We're not going to try to solve this issue or this problem. So, you know, I still have my eye on you, but I'm going to keep moving forward. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking back one last time and I'm saying, are you sure? You don't want to talk or, or uh, you know, because my feet are moving forward and um, I don't know what else I'm here. I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what else I can say. I mean, we have, we, do we have some problems? We have some issues. We need to clear the air. I need some truth. Somebody is saying, I need some truth. And if I don't get the truth, I'm going to keep moving forward and cycle away from this. Let's take a look at the challenge. The obstacle okay <laughs> the hermit of course so we do have um, Virgo energy here okay cancer I feel like what, what October is like basically what I was saying before there may have been some truth that came in the past there may have been clarity that may have been brought to you and you may have just decided you know what um for some type of truth that is in october causing you to move forward and just try to uh go into isolation or uh or or contemplate it or think about it or just gain your own clarity in regard to this um but it's difficult for you because i just see this face here of looking back saying I don't want to walk away I don't want to end something here okay and I feel that this is mutual 
I'm curious to see what this truth may have been with the Ace of Swords, what this clarity, what this uh, conversation. Please show me the Ace of Swords, what this conversation might have been. Mm, something about a Queen of Wands, fire energy. Something about a woman or, an, or a male. Uh, the, so, uh, who was in a who was in a fire uh, element doesn't have to be a fire sign, but was in a fire element where they were confident and brave and bold, um, warm, passionate, very intuitive. Um, I'm just feeling like extreme confidence. I don't know what that has to do with this, uh, like what the, commu the communication or the truth had something to do about uh, a female, okay, or a male, a person, something to do with a person. So you know your story. Let's take a look and see what's driving you. Okay, got the lovers. So there's a desire here in October to come into union with someone, a decision, a decision is needing to be made. And uh, for some of you, I feel like um, there may have been somebody else in the picture. And um, either you're needing to make a decision about this relationship, whether you want to stick around and move it forward. That's why you're struggling to just kind of disappear a little bit. You're, you're hesitant. You're like, you're walking, your feet are moving, you're walking forward, but you're still looking back. And so you just might be in this, this situation here where you're like, oh, I, I don't know if it's going to work out, but I don't want to give up. I still have my hope, but I don't know what to do. And what's driving you is you're trying to make a decision right now in October about someone or something. And I feel like this person is too. You guys might be on a, in a separation or uh, trying to have a break. Let me pull a card for the best that you can arrive at for October. Okay, Three of Swords. Yeah, it seems to me like you, um, the best you can arrive at right now is to get out. It seems to be like, I know this sounds kind of tough, but it, it feels like you don't know what else to do. And you're trying to decide of whether you, you know, this could have been you involved with somebody else. This could have been about you. Some of you might be on the cusp of Cancer Leo. Um, there's Gemini here as well. Your thought process and what's crowning down on you, what it's saying here, like the energy coming down on you is to sever this relationship. It's, it's coming down. It's weighing heavy. It's like it's going through your crown chakra and it's laying on your shoulders and it's pushing you down. And you're not sure if you want to do that because the lovers is here. Because what's driving you is to have this relationship, to have this connection, to have this ma marriage, whichever, because there's love there. And I feel like you both have that, have love for each other really like you're you're you, you are soulmates like you guys are meant to be with each other but something happened something happened in the past and of course you know your story better than I do let's take a look at the near future coming up like mid-October let's see what the energy is there okay the death card so there's some type of transformation and change but this is also an ending this can also be surrendering Let's take a look and see. I want to clarify that. Oh, yeah. Cancer, I think you're going to just take October and say, you know what? I'm on my own, Miss Independent, Mr. Independent. I'm staying single. Um, I feel like that's something for you at this time you need to do. Because you're like, I mean, you're in between heartbreak and love. You're kind of stuck in the middle. Like, looking back. Uh, not sure whether to just disappear or block or go into isolation or go silent. 
you're stuck. And it feels like going forward, you may just decide to end this and surrender that uh, to just be on your own. Now, this isn't forever. Um, there's some kind of like blip or something happening here in October in your love life. And this does not mean that there's cheating. This could also be in, if this is somebody else connected to your person, um, this could be a mother interference or a sister interference or a female friend or a male friend is an interference. Um, or you could be connected to a fire sign who was bringing some clarity and truth to you, um, perhaps about, you know, they didn't want to be in a relationship, but they didn't want to lose you because the lovers here, these two are not, you know, they're not connecting to each other, they're not holding hands. They're mirroring each other and they're in each other's presence, but they're not like really bonding here. So I'm going to see what your advice is. So this is, I don't, this here is not a decision that you're making to be single. I, I think I made it sound like that. It feels like the energy is pushing you to surrender to just being on your own. I don't feel like you really want that. I feel like part of you does and part of you doesn't. But what is your advice from spirit, from God, from the universe? What is your advice here? Oh, gosh, cancer. Your advice is to take a temporary break. Go find your ninth cup whatever that means for you, whatever's going to make you happy. This is temporary separation. Your advice here is to back off, walk away for a little while, go get some much needed healing, re, uh, nourishment, soul nourishment, go on a hike, go, uh, you got to make a movement. You got to move away from these heavy emotions. So it feels like you would be in alignment with what universe is pushing you to do you would be in alignment it feels like you would not be in alignment to stay in confusion let's take a look at this other person i want to see um what their energy is here let me show me the other person for cancer okay <laughs> Gosh, you know what, Cancer, this person's like really in awe of you. Um, I don't know what really went down in the past, but um, they're very immature. You may have been dealing with someone who's like, um, they may have like a, a goatee or a beard uh, of some sort, but they also have like these big guns, I always say these muscles. This person... Um, they're like one of those fitness heads or fitness freaks or something. Um, or they put a lot of emphasis on that, even if they don't have big muscles. <laughs> they put a lot of emphasis on the physical things. And um, they do focus on that more than anything. But you, uh, but they, but you are one of those things. They view you as kind of like a trophy. And in regard to this reading, it doesn't feel like that's a good thing. <laughs> Let's see what else is going up with them. They want to talk to you and they do want to tell you that you mean everything to them. But, well, no, but they, they, that they want to tell you that you mean everything to them. But look at them. They're not open to love right now. They're not open to accepting love. I did see the King of Swords pop out. So that is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy um, for some of you. But they're, they're, they're just, they don't know what to do. They don't know if they're ready for love. They're not sure if they're open to love. They like the way you look. They like the, you know, they see your value. Um, and they see your worth. I feel like it's more along the lines. They don't see their own value and their own worth. They don't feel they're deserving of love. Look at this. This is the Ace of Cups coming in here. Like the universe or God, you know, keeps handing them this cup and saying opportunity for love here. And they're just like, nope. I feel like your person places a lot of emphasis on the aesthetic. Okay, hopes and fears. 
Well, you're hoping you're going to be able to move on, but you're fearing you're going to be stuck. Your hope is to get out of this chaotic water here because this person stirs up a little bit of drama in your life when they're with you, wherever you go. And you've had your back to it. You kind of knew it, but you weren't sure or you thought, do they really cause drama in my life? Like, look at her. She's facing forward and here he is behind stirring up the water. And um, you're trying to get to a peaceful place. They may even say to you, oh, I just want peace. I'm going to take you to a great place. And then they cause drama. Um, so you're fearful that that, that, that might be true. Um, even if this person wasn't having anything to do with another person romantically they just kind of allow drama to happen interfere in your connection um, in some ways by another person or they cause it on their own maybe to get a reaction out of you it's a very confusing situation for you here I'm seeing let me just I want to pull something on the uh, lovers for some reason just feeling like yeah, the moon, see? Lack of clarity here. Emotions. Deep emotions, fear based. Possible deception. Not having enough information to make a decision about whether to move forward. And that really is just kind of how I was feeling. It feels like because of that, look at these two moons. You know, because of that lack of clarity and not being sure what to do, it feels like the universe is saying, you know what, go take a break. Move yourself away from this person for a little bit, of, for, a li for, for the month of October, just kind of pull your energy back. Just pull your, you don't have to leave this person 100%, just pull yourself back. So you can get that clarity, you know, people, they go, they take hikes, they go, you know, go out in the sun or, you know, whatever, they go on a nature trail or something. They just try to gain clarity whatever way you can. Um, let's take a look at the outcome for you for the month of October, and then I'll go over to the extended reading to dive more into what this person's feeling even more so, if there's going to be any changes uh, or movement in your direction to repair heal this connection or if you should just move forward for good um that'll be for the next three months going forward okay yeah um here's the outcome for you you have two options you can stay trapped in this energy it may be causing low self-esteem this connection in some way or you can just shimmy your feet and walk yourself out of there right you you may feel like you are imprisoned or stuck or in jail with this, but that this is an illusion. It's all in your mind. When you take off those blinders and open your eyes, you see that you're not you're not circulated by these uh, these swords. You can walk out right here, right here. You can walk forward. So the outcome is you have a decision to make for the month. Uh, or for the next few months going forward about this relationship and that's what we're going to take a look at in the extended reading to see like yeah here we go the nine of wands yeah you're not sure what to do so uh, it feels to me really just for this month take a step back just pull your energy back a little bit the answer will come, it will be revealed to you, and I'm going to give you some insight into that, into your extended reading. Um, the link, again, is in the description box below. It'll say um, extended love reading. Um, again, the, the reading is $11.11, .11, so I don't think that's too, I think that's fairly inexpensive for the next three months, and we'll see what will transpire for you going forward. Please hit the li uh, like button on the video if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you over there. Take care.